Howdy, Ego Hackers! Welcome to the channel. Today, we're taking a deep dive into the aspirational function, which is the inferior function when it aspires. Let's go! And it's this incredible journey from a source of anxiety to a powerhouse ready to step up to challenges that held it back for so long. Today, we're going to explore the dual nature of the inferior function, how it can be both a wellspring of our deepest insecurities and a gateway of untapped potential and strength. The inferior function as a cognitive attitude is where our deepest fears and insecurities reside. These fears, varying across different personality types, can significantly influence our behavior and perceptions. But the pattern is, I can't do this. However, it's crucial to understand that the inferior function isn't just a weakness. Many of us like to think of our inferior function as a curse. Oh, I can't interact with people well. Oh, I have a hard time thinking. Oh, my reputation matters. What do I do? What do I do? It's also a potential path to courage and self-improvement. These insecurities are going to be tricks that are up your sleeve. It is your path to courage and self-improvement. He who becomes last shall become first kind of thing. Transforming the fear associated with our inferior function into an aspirational function is a journey of self-acceptance and courage. By acknowledging and controlling the things we fear most, we unlock the door to significant personal growth. Today, we'll discuss the transformative process and how each of the eight different inferior functions look when they become aspirational. Beginning with extroverted thinking aspirant, INFPs and ISFPs with TE inferior often experience anxiety about their public image and capabilities, fearing criticism and judgment about their competence. When not actively addressing their TE inferior, INFPs and ISFPs may avoid situations where their abilities are tested, leading to a lack of confidence in their practical skills. ISFPs and INFPs have a lot of strong opinions, but they're nervous to share them based on the judgment of other people. They fear being shamed the most. So they often tend to just do nothing. ISFPs get into their vice of idleness, and INFPs become sloths. By embracing and developing TE inferior, INFPs and ISFPs learn to confidently articulate their ideas and make decisions based on rationality. This growth allows them to interact more effectively in their environments and assert their capabilities. They become very capable leaders, outshining even the ESTJ and the ENTJ. Introverted thinking aspirant. ENFJs and ESFJs with TI inferior often harbor a deep-seated fear of being perceived as intellectually inferior, or incapable of logical reasoning, or just being stupid. If they ignore their TI inferior, ENFJs and ESFJs might overtly rely on external validation for their ideas, avoiding situations requiring critical thinking. Without developed TI inferior, they might become overly dependent on others' opinions or struggle with indecisiveness or lack of personal conviction. However, when they embrace their TI inferior, ENFJs and ESFJs become more independent in their thought processes. They learn to trust their logical reasoning and contribute meaningfully to intellectual discussions enhancing their self-esteem and decision-making. Extroverted Feeling Aspirant INTPs and ISTPs with FE inferior often fear social interaction and people's emotions, leading to anxieties about social acceptance and emotional expression. Like, have you guys ever talked to someone? That's terrifying! Without developing their FE inferior, INTPs and ISTPs may become socially withdrawn or appear indifferent, potentially leading to strained relationships. INTPs fall into the vice of being apathetic, and ISTPs fall into the vice of being melancholy. And I am talking about vices a lot. I will leave a link in the description in the comments below so you can check those out. But a vice is basically a shortcoming. INTPs and ISTPs without developing FE inferior might struggle with understanding others' emotional needs and they also tend to suppress their own emotions, affecting their interpersonal connections. It's hard to make connections with people when you aren't willing to be open and vulnerable. By embracing FE Inferior, INTPs and ISTPs learn to communicate their emotions more openly and build stronger relationships. They become more empathetic and socially adept, enhancing their ability to connect with others. Introverted Feeling Aspirant ENTJs and ESTJs with FI Inferior often face fears regarding their own worthlessness, morality, and emotional expression, leading to insecurities about personal values and emotions. If they neglect their FI inferior, ENTJs and ESTJs might become overly focused on external achievement, ignoring their emotional well-being, as well as their moral compass. Their achievements don't have any emotional value to them, so they're just kind of like, cool, I achieved that. What am I doing with my life? Without developed FI inferior, they might struggle with understanding their own values and repress their emotions. However, when they develop FI inferior, 
ENTJs and ESTJs gain insight into their emotional landscape and value system. They learn to balance their drive for success with moral considerations and emotional intelligence, leading to a more fulfilling and professional life. Extroverted Intuition Aspirant ISTJs and ISFJs experience anxiety when facing the unknown, as well as fear of being undesirable. This fear often leads them to stick to what's familiar and reliable, even if it's absolute garbage. However, when ISTJs and ISFJs don't address their any inferior, either by avoiding new experiences or not fully engaging with them, they can become overly cautious and resistant to change, which can lead to stagnation. ISTJs and ISFJs without developed any inferior might become rigid and inflexible, insisting on sticking to traditional methods, even when they fail. They might excessively worry about future uncertainties, making them overly protective or hesitant. On the other hand, embracing and developing any aspirant opens ISTJs and ISFJs to new possibilities. They learn to see patterns and potential outcomes, easing their fears of the unknown. The development allows them to be more adaptable and open to change, enriching their experiences and relationships. Introverted Intuition Aspirant For ESFPs and ESTPs, the NI inferior manifests as a fear of losing freedom and making long-term commitments that might be wrong, and then they're just stuck with the consequences. When they ignore or underutilize their NI inferior, ESFPs and ESTPs can become erratic and overly spontaneous, avoiding any form of commitment or long-term planning altogether. However, with NI aspirational, ESFPs and ESTPs gain the courage to commit. They also gain the ability to see the immediate. They become more strategic and thoughtful about their decisions, leading to more fulfilling and purposeful lives. Extroverted Sensing Aspiring INFJs and INTJs with SE inferior often fear being unable to perform adequately in the physical world and being rejected for it. Without developing their SE inferior, INTJs and INFJs might avoid situations where they need to be in the physical world, socially engaging, and giving people comfort. They might also struggle with feeling inadequate or ineffective, that their performance is not enough. When INFJs and INTJs embrace their SE inferior and make it become an aspirant, they learn to engage more confidently with the world around them, they become more grounded in reality, improve their physical and social skills, and learn to enjoy sensory experiences more fully. And by doing this, they get the loyalty they crave. Introverted Sensing Aspirant ENFPs and ENTPs with SI inferior often fear routine and experiencing new things. They are also adverse to pain. Without addressing their SI inferior, ENFPs and ENTPs might struggle with consistency, organization, and attending to their physical health. They can become restless and scattered. Developing their SI inferior into SI aspirant, ENFPs and ENTPs learn the value of routine, organization, and self-care. They become more balanced and grounded, which enhances their creativity and ability to follow through on their ideas. And those are all the inferior functions once they aspire. Their journey from fear to aspiration with our inferior function is a call to self-discovery and growth. It's about acknowledging and working with a part of ourselves that we are terrified to look at. The inferior is a part of you, as much as your hero is. There are so many opportunities we miss out on because we are paralyzed in fear. I encourage each of you to reflect on your own journey with your inferior function and to address everything that you've been sweeping under the rug this entire time. If you want a guide on making your inferior function aspire, I encourage you to check out Ego Hacking Your Fear, EYF for short, because acronyms are cool. The course will give you a new perspective on how your fear works and a lecture overcoming your fear, specific to your type. Reclaim the lost part of you and go to csjoseph.life slash EYF today. The key takeaways from this video is our inferior functions journey from fear to aspiration. Everyone has a deep fear that holds them back, but once you embrace that fear and you conquer it, the world is your oyster. Everything that held you back, everything that you've been wanting to do, but can't because you're afraid, you got so many more paths open to you now because you took the courage to get there. We hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like and subscribe. I hope to see you in the next video. We'll be covering the ally function. Peace.